Today we're working on a Mavic Air 2 with a broken arm. It requires soldering. It's an Air 2 here. And um, we will first take it apart here. And um, I kind of messed up in the video because I'm used to taking apart the front arm. So I take off this back plate, but actually, after I did the repair, I realized it's not necessary to take out this back plate unless you're doing the front arms. So anyways, we're just going to get through this part. I'm sorry about that, but um, as I go along, I will explain more. You'll use a hex screwdriver. I think it's like a 1500, I believe, is the size. And um, there's you're going to want to use that hex screwdriver to remove these plates here. And you'll also use it on the front and um, on the other side on the other side of it. But you also need a T5 screwdriver to remove the screws in front here to get, take off this front panel. And uh, I had to grab one out and let, and then you'll pry it off with a metal tool. It's very hard, very difficult to get it off. But I was very manageable, able to get it off here and. And then I uh, take out that screw. I took out extra screws I didn't need to take out, actually. And uh, anyways, um, you just want to pry it off with the metal tool. Just work your way around, and you'll get it off eventually. Once you get it off, then you'll take off the main shell part, and you'll unscrew it from the other side. Please stay tuned to the video. This uh, repair does require soldering, so I recommend an expert doing this, and also... Use well ventilation while you're soldering so you don't get soldering poisoning. So here's the two other screws for the hex screws you'll take off. And then you will take off these screws here underneath where the battery pack goes. So you'll pry off the metal shell, or not the metal, plastic shell, and um, you'll just like pry from the front and uh, just work your metal tool around um, the edges here, and then you lift from the front, and then you can just pull it straight off. All right, grab your hex screwdriver out. You'll unscrew this screw here, and then you'll flip the um, the uh, arm around, and then you can screw from underneath it. So you flip it around, then you can pull it off, and then you'll um, have to kind of wedge your tool in there, your screwdriver, and unscrew the uh, bracket there. And I guess it might not be necessary. Like, you could skip that part and just stick the cables through but I did it just to make it easy to stick the cables through it and um, there is I just used some tweezers to grab those screws and that tight corner there there is uh, four of them that you'll take off and then we'll move on to the soldering so you will uh, desolder um, these wires here so these three here and then also the three up there and that's the ones you're going to want to get um they're all labeled like gray black and white so you don't really have to take pictures to remember but anyways you use some flux on these and you'll get uh your um flux out and uh just put it on all the uh, parts you're going to solder here so it doesn't oxidize and then you'll um, want to get your uh, soldering iron out at 700 degrees Celsius. And um, you just get some tweezers as well and pull on the wire as you solder it, da solder it down. So then the wire will just pop loose. As so.
Once you desolder it, I recommend just touching up the uh, solder, add a little more solder to it um, for when you solder them back on. And then you'll stick the cables back through the bracket and then through the hole and solder the wires back down um, with the G to gray, white to W, B to black. And uh, then we will go ahead and put it together and turn it on and test it out and then test fly it and everything. All right, stay tuned. metal bracket or hinge whatever you want to call it it does have to be in a certain position i do recommend uh, shoving it all the way in and make sure it locks in and everything um there is uh um i actually messed up and then had to redo it but uh here we go we're gonna go ahead and solder the um wires back on and uh We'll get them all soldered down here. Use some tweezers and an iron. I use bended tweezers to hold the cable down. Helps a lot. Before fully assembling it, what I do is take the battery and stick it on there, turn it on, see if it, everything turns on, motor moves, and then the camera moves, and then I will put it all the way back together. Everything seems to be working here. So I use a hex screwdriver, put it all back together, and I'll speed this part up, and then we'll go test fly. Dun, dun, dun. It turns on and it's lifting off. It is flying. We fixed the arm. We soldered it back on. 
Thanks for watching the video. Please like sub and subscribe and leave comments below.